Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Today we're doing Ian Metzion, Seches Chala, Paragimel, Mishnah Zion. It's the Arab Yom Kippur version of the Daily Double of Ian Metzion, sorry, Mishnah Yomi. Uh, the Mishnah says, Mishnah Zion, if you make a dough from a combination, it has wheat and it has some rice, some rice flour. And a lot of these energy bars have wheat, you know, combinations of wheat and rice flour. Uh, so the halacha is very interesting over here. Even though the wheat itself does not have the requisite share for challah, it's not five fourths of a kav. However, combined with the rice, it is five fourths of a kav, and it has tam dagon. If you taste it, it tastes like wheat, wheat bread. So there's two halachas that are dependent on this. Chayav is bechalas, chayav is of challah. Even if you ate a kazayas of this from matzah, right? And the, it's even the kazayas, it's not going to be a kazayas of dagon of of one of the five species of chitim, right, which you have to be yotze, the only five species of yotze, the, the mitzvah of matzah on the first time of Pesach, the fact that it tastes like wheat is good enough, even if, let's say, 25 or 50% is rice, it wouldn't make a difference. How could this be over here? How can you be chayav and chal if you don't have the shear? What does it matter if it tastes like bread? So the answer is, is that we know there's a concept in the Gemara. The Gemara says tam keiker. Is tam keiker, that usually means by isurim over there, if you have one sixtieth of milk, that goes into you know a piece of meat or something like that. You can taste if you can. It's one sixtieth, right? It's more than one sixtieth or one sixtieth exactly. So it's batel, right? You can't taste the milk, but it's less than one sixtieth. You can taste it. Tam keikar, it makes a basar bechalav, and also any isurim, right? If you had um, for a nazir or something like that, one sixtieth of, of grapes or chatzan mazag or the seeds of a grape, you have a taste less than one sixtieth in the wine, then it's also for him to drink. There's more than one sixtieth of the Tom Kicker works on a level del Rice, so we pass him Tom Kicker del Rice. So Tom does take on the official status over here. The Chiddush over here, and why we say over here by Chala, uh, I'm not going to explain Matzah right now, but I want to explain Chala, is that by Chala we've mentioned that the Chiv of Chala is not uh, a tax. It's not a tax, like Shumas and Meisers, it's a tax on your property. So Shumas and Meisers were measuring exactly how much you have. Right, how much wheat or how much whatever fruits or vegetables you have, and you have to take off a certain percentage, shruma is a little bit, and then meiser is one tenth. It has to be precise from the amount you have. However, over here, the chiv of challah is not a tax. The chiv of challah is a thanksgiving to Hashem for giving you this bread because it only applies to honorary bread. So, um, we don't look at it as the components of what you use to make this, we look at the, the finished product over here finished product is a bread that is an honorary bread, that's why it has to be from the five species, something important that is used at banquets, at Shabbos meals, at weddings, you know, you're going to give it as honorary bread, so when you're giving honorary bread to make your meal fancy, obviously it's a moment of thanksgiving, so you want to give thanksgiving to Hashem, you separate challah. So here also, the tam is the ikr over here, the tam is the most important factor, whether it's whether it has the five fourths of challah is not important, the question is, whether you have a shear of challah on something which tastes like bread, it's an honorary bread, if it tastes like wheat bread, then you can serve it at a wedding meal, you can serve it at a bris, you can serve it at your Shabbos meal because it tastes like bread, no one will know the difference. So as long as it is an honorary bread and has the requisite shear, the amount that is chayav and challah, that you made, that you have to give thanksgiving to Hashem, whether it actually has the right amount of kemach or not, a flour, or wheat flour or not, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, because now you have an honorary bread, you have to give thanksgiving to Hashem. It's the final product, that's what we look at. And therefore, as long as it's a big enough sample size, five-fourths of a cup together with the oras, and it tastes like bread, that's the important point. If it tastes like bread, like wheat bread, then you'd serve it at a meal. If it tastes like rice bread, it's like rice cakes. You're going to serve rice cakes at a wedding meal? I don't think so. You put a, a basket of bread in the middle. So if it tastes like, like, um, like wheat bread, that's something fancy you'll serve at a fancy meal. And then you're chayav in the mitzvah of challah because it's not just a tax; it's actually a thanksgiving to Hashem, like Bikurim, as we explained many times. Hope you enjoyed today's year. Gemara Chasimatova. Have a good year. Bye.